Hi, Gemini. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your love and general tower reading for April 2018. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So um, I'm going to start with doing a love reading, and then I'm going to incorporate an overall general reading into this so that you kind of can get a little bit of a more broader uh more broader messages of what may be going on in your life for and for some of you who just aren't thinking about love right now maybe things are going great and you just need um some guidance on other things in your life okay so again this is for gemini sun moon venus or rising if this uh, sun, yeah, Venus rise. If this doesn't resonate, you can check your other signs. Uh, and if you want to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. Okay. All right. So I just want to pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck for love to see what kind of what the overall energy will be for you. I didn't do this in the Aries and the Taurus. Uh, I just, just decided to change this deck to use. Okay. So you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this month will probably be requiring you to make some type of an effort in your love life, okay? Either with another person or just in a marriage or making an effort in some way to improve a relationship or maybe even making an effort if you're single to improve your dating life. Maybe you need to get out there more, um, and start socializing more. Though Gemini is pretty sociable to begin with, but you may be feeling um, maybe what you've been doing is not enough. There's always that possibility. So your past position, you have the Five of Wands. So this is just some conflict energy you may be coming out of. Um, could have been arguments with friends, family, a lover, a spouse, um, or work. Anything in, anything going on in, in your life, just conflict. It could be something, it uh, doesn't have to be with people. Uh, it could have just been, you know, maybe there's conflict with uh, corporations or institutions or health insurance companies or, or things like that you could have been dealing with or current or were dealing with. It could, you could still be dealing with this, but um, it was really noted in the recent past uh, defending defending some, defending your child, defending uh, family members, um, things like that. The five of wands, it's not overly serious. I mean, not that if some of you were dealing with that, that of course, you know, it's not that it wasn't a serious situation, but the five of wands, if it were the five of swords, then I would feel like, yes, that's a, a very serious abusive situation possibly happening or controlling. Um, but this is, sometimes it could just be just... Uh, I don't want to devalue it for those of you who are like, yeah, yeah, I had a problem. Um, and it may not be for you, but there could be some who were just coming out of some somewhat uh, conflicting type of energy where sometimes the five of wands represents competitiveness. Maybe you're competing for a lover or maybe a job or a position in something or um, always feeling like you always have to compete for things. Um, or, you know, you may have gotten to that point where you're just like, oh gosh, tired of fighting for this, you know. Um, so whatever, the, however that may resonate for you, that, that energy was just playing for you in the past. Uh, some of you could have, you know, and it doesn't have to be negative. Some of you could be involved in sports. You could be an athlete or, or doing something that required competitive skill, okay, or or looking for a position or applying for jobs or certain things where you feel like you needed to have, um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to hang this up, um, okay, where you felt like you needed to, uh, your, maybe you needed to up your skills or uh, something like that. Okay, I've gone on too much about that. I actually just wanted to just pull a clarifying card for that. <sighs> and so now you've got the seven of wands. So again, it's just the same thing, being that defensive energy, um, trying to feel like you need to uh, defend something, definitely. So you've got the six of cups in April. Okay. Oftentimes, to me, that card represents someone from your past returning. It's also a card about kindness, generosity, um, 
childhood memories, past memories, things like that, or, or, or thinking back on a past situation that brought you joy. Okay. So for some, it could be somebody returning to you, um, in April. Okay. Uh, someone that maybe there was competitiveness with, or maybe something, a job or something like that is coming back around or an opportunity or an offer, uh, something that you fought for in the past, maybe is making its turn back in your direction. It's clear. It's challenged by the judgment card. So, Some of you were dealing with someone that was that was like this with you. Some of you were dealing with someone who was not nice to you, and now they're coming back to apologize. They're trying to fix it, fix the situation. Mm, they're they're trying to come back, or you want someone to come back and reveal the truth to you about something, why they acted a certain way, or why they behaved a certain way towards you, or why they were so competing with you all the time, or why they, they just couldn't leave things be and just be happy and, and, and enjoy and be kind to each other. So, you know, some of that energy is playing out for some of you, okay? Some of you may have been going for, through a divorce and it's gone on for a really long time and it's still going on. And now you're at the point where you just want, you just want to be friends with that person. Okay. Maybe this person didn't want to give you a divorce and is still hassling you about it. And you just want, can, can't we just be amicable for the children or can't we just be, you know, can we just focus on the kids and, you know, uh, the judgment card, it's, it's, it's an obstacle to get uh, fine, the finances or the court papers finalized for some of you. It's, it's still a challenge in April for some of you that are waiting for that. The hanged man, driving your reading is that still waiting energy. Some of you Gemini's are just done with this situation. You're just like, I am done. Even if this is someone coming back, they could be coming back. It could have been conflict with this person and they, they do make a return, but they don't reveal fully to you. Maybe their feelings or how they feel about you. And you're still waiting. And, and you and you you still feel like you know I just have to accept this is how this person is they're just never gonna open up you know it's a stalemate situation with the two of swords it really is even if this is a job situation coming back around uh, or an opportunity for you to work in a position that you were competing for, um, you're still going to be waiting in a sense, you know, that's going to kind of play out again the same way it did in the past. I just feel like you're going to be waiting, waiting, waiting. So there's no decision going to be made in the month of April for those of you who are waiting for that. The two of swords is always like stuck, hangman, stuck energy, you know, um, so what's coming up for you <laughs> is the seven of wands again. That's why I was saying for April, it's just kind of like a repeat of this past situation. The same here, the situation comes back around and again, you're still defending yourself or you're still having to fight about something with the particular person. They just, this, you know, as far as love goes, this particular person just will not budge. They just won't budge but when it comes to opening up and being truthful with you. They want to come back because they like to be with you and they like to be truthful. And all, or they like to be in your presence. There's, you make them feel good. They make you feel good. Um, but you're just, you're just, you know, it's like, <laughs> It's like you, it's like a continuation. That's really all I can say. So you've got the three of cups here in the position of you and in your advice. And that's really a card that's telling me you need to 
focus on family and celebrations. Some of you have family celebrations that are coming up in April. Um, so uh, to be around others, some of you may need to be out dating and meeting more people or going home to see people. Um, the three of cups can sometimes be about pregnancy and birth. So, you know, whatever it is that you are waiting for, it's, you know, or you've been fighting for and now you're stuck waiting and now, and, and then that energy comes up again where you have, feel like you have to defend yourself about something. Yeah, things are just are not going to change. So it's best for you to just focus on all the good that's currently happening instead of focusing on the negative things that are happening. Find what's good that's going on and focus on that. Stay positive. Okay, spend more time with people that support you and that you care about. You've got the Page of Cups, which is in your environment, okay? So you will be receiving messages, love messages from someone in particular or just in general. People will be reaching out to you and offering their kindness and their support and their love, okay? You'll get a lot of text messages, either from one, two, more people. Um, there'll be a lot of emails, social media, uh, t people supporting you through a situation, um, even, even in a work situation, if you, you find yourself still fighting for a position in your career, um, there will be the supportive energy. There will be, uh, some type, I don't want to say it's like a love offer or an offer, but there will be like a, an inclination that you'll hear something that it, it, it might actually start to go in your favor. Okay. So try to be hopeful with that. And I feel like if, if you're sometimes the best way to win something is to not fight for it. <laughs> not, not in every case, but you, when you've done all that you can do, um, the, sometimes you win when you walk away, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just when you surrender, you wind up when you're, I always like to talk about the Tao, uh, the Tao, excuse me. Um, you know, if you, if you are holding on, like say for instance, uh, if you have a, if you have a bowl and you fill it with water to the top, um, that water, that bowl is now filled and nothing else can be put in that no more water because it will just, it's already filled. But if you empty it, then it's open to be filled. And, and so it's really important to empty yourself of whatever you are filled with. If there's negativity, whether it comes about um, career, or if you're feeling hopeless or desperate about things or situations or dealing with people or someone in particular, <clears throat> when you're filled with all of that, there's no room for anything else. And especially if it's mostly negative, um, or, or feeling that hopelessness or fighting so hard for something that you just, you know, it's just a stuck situation and it just the energy is not time for it to budge. Let it go, empty it out so that you can be open to receive. Okay. You have the Knight of Wands here in your hopes and fears. So for some of you, you may be dealing with someone who is kind of like a person that comes in and out of your life. Okay. Um, they sweep you off your feet and then they leave that kind of energy. So you might kind of be hoping to see that person again. Um, and that could be someone who returns to your life, but again, they don't budge. They don't, they don't really reveal themselves fully to you, but you, you are also fearing that that person will make a reappearance in the same way because you kind of know that nothing's going to come of it. Okay. And even if this is a career or a financial situation, you're hoping that something will come in swift, quick, fast. Um, that will be just amazing, but you're fearing that it won't. Right. So, and this just is in your hopes and fears, but again, for that, your advice is to stick with people who are supportive of you or to be in supportive energy. Um, people who will lift you up, right. Even in, even if you're single and wanting to date, you know, it's, or that's something that is coming through for you that you can do in April, find like-minded souls, 
you know, don't, don't take anyone just for the sake of, um, the cure, the loneliness or the frustration, unless you just need a friend, you know? Um, but this is more of like a party atmosphere. This is more of like, um, enjoying yourself right now, you know, no matter how difficult things may be, no matter how much of a waiting game and a stalemate situation you feel like you're in, you can still just leave that be and just that'll take care of itself. It will take care of itself. For now, try to just focus on being happy and staying positive. You have the two of wands and the page of pentacles is your outcome. So the two of wands is progress, making plans, moving forward. And for some of you who are waiting to hear about money uh, coming in, it's here. So perhaps at the end of the month, maybe some of you are getting a tax refund of some sort, or you're getting something financial that's coming in that will be a benefit to you. I see that coming. You may get a message or some piece of mail that has a check in it um, that will help you to move forward and to make progress in your life. The Two of Wands is also about partnership. So there may be some type of, um, maybe towards the end of the month, things begin to change. Maybe when you just decide to let go of someone because they're not going to change or that someone come from your past, that you just stay focused on yourself. Here with the two of wands, that's partnership. So you may be partnering up with, um, a, it could be a, you, a job, okay? It could be that person um, that may just decide to stick with you anyway. Uh, you could be partnering up with um, in any in any situation with a a child who is an earth sign or someone younger under you know uh, could be like could be a teenager or someone in their early twenties um, maybe uh, starting a business with this person if you you know if you're close to that age or anything could be anything I just see partnership and I see uh, messages or news about money coming in and here's the ace of pentacles too so there's definitely a financial small fortune coming to you at the end of April at least sometime around there I feel it's very positive honestly I really do um so whatever you've been fighting for just leave it be for now let it let it rest and stay focused on, you know, this awesome ending here at the end of the month to try to be happy about things. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed that. If it resonates, great. If not, you can always check your other signs or request a personal reading from me at my website, moonpytaro.com. All right, take care, and I will see you next month.